I was interested in cardiology early on in medical school because um, I really enjoyed cardiovascular physiology uh, and also uh, the very direct and hands-on way we uh, impact patients um, uh, in the real time. I very commonly take care of people with coronary artery disease uh, and these will be people who are very often middle age uh, with diabetes and high blood pressure and, and uh, are short of breath or have chest pain and either have had a diagnosis of coronary artery disease uh, or uh, are about to get one. Uh, I've seen a lot of folks like that. We also treat a lot of people with peripheral vascular disease with people have pain in the legs when they walk from atherosclerotic disease in the legs. Um, and then also we see quite a bit of general cardiology, folks who have uh, you know, fluttering in the chest palpitations, be it atrial fibrillation or uh, other arrhythmias. We're often involved in you know, the, full, the full cycle of care for our patients. We see them when they're sick in the hospital, uh, and then we also get to see them when they're better in, in the office, and then uh, and kind of follow them all the way through. I think that unique to my practice in interventional cardiology, uh, both for myself and most and my partners in interventional cardiology, is that uh, we all carry outpatient practices uh, with longitudinal care for our patients uh, and we do outreach. So um, we're able to again take care of our patients across West Michigan, uh, not just for the procedure here, but able to see them where they live. Uh, and that's a pretty, uh, it's a luxury that not many interventional cardiologists get to have. Uh, I'm Mark Jacoby, an interventional cardiologist at Spectrum Health Medical Group.